Welcome back, everybody, to the Meeple Marathon and Act 2 of our Runebound playthrough. Uh, again, we are taking on the Corpse King, who has now, at the beginning of Act 2, entered the Cursed Ruins here, and he will simply hang out there uh, until we can approach him. So we have, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more rounds to get prepared and then go up and defeat him um we could technically go up and attempt to defeat him early if we want to um but first we need to take care of some of these zombies which are represented by these tokens here and one that is actually in the town that i'm currently in um because the corpse king actually is stronger the more zombies are out on the board so that's going to kind of be our focus here <coughs> um if you check back on our uh, my previous video of Act 1, I covered the basics of how to play, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this playthrough. So, um, essentially nothing happened um, on this turn uh, as, other than, you know, seating the board with the Corpse King and whatnot. So, I get to go ahead and take my actions, and my first action will be, of course, to spend one to get rid of the zombie. Uh, killing a zombie gains me one coin. Alright, and so uh, I believe what my plan was was to run down here to River Watch and pick up the rogue's gear here for six money. I can sell my chain mail for four, which will make it even cheaper. Um, yeah, I essentially like the fact I've literally not rolled a single shield symbol on my chain mail yet. So this one at least has a surge on the other side as opposed to a blank. And it's got the dodge, so I, I think it's a good swap. Um, so that, I guess, is what we'll do next with the rest of our actions. So we'll spend one to travel along the road, come down here to River Watch, and then we will spend an action to um, shop. So. I do get to flip over one more card here. True Light Lantern. Uh, okay, don't need that. So I'm going to sell my chain mail for four, which means Rogue's Gear is only gonna cost me two. All right, and those were my three actions for my turn. So we'll move this down and now we will do another story event. The Dead Walk. In turn order, each hero must place one zombie in any hex without a zombie. Each hero who is in that hex takes two damage. Uh, okay, so it's kind of a pain, um, but my whole purpose is to, um, you know, get rid of these zombies. So I'm actually, it doesn't say I can't put one in the city and they've been in cities before so I'm gonna put it in there I'm gonna take two damage which um, no wait I can't do that because that would that would defeat me right here okay so where do we want to put this guy somewhere close by um yeah I'm just gonna put it up here in Tamalier okay all right, so story events out of the way. My first action here in the city is going to be healing up all of my um, hit points. And then I am going to need to hit here and get way up here. And then I can try and get this guy on my way to the Cursed Ruins. There's not really anything I want to buy right now. Um, I have my three assets filled and nothing out there is really you know, jumping out at me. So, blast. Remove one of your foes tokens. Interesting. No, I like short bow better. Okay. So let's, I guess, start with uh, coming up here. I will, of course, take two damage. Um, for entering this region and then I will spend my third action to get rid of the zombie 
going to give me a coin. Okay. Um, hmm. One thing that I may want to consider is seeing if I can't accumulate a few more trophies in order to get one of these other things. Feral strength once per turn. Hmm. Maybe I'll train one of these times here. Okay. Time marker goes down. Nothing happens. Um, so that is a good question. Whether I want to... Let's go ahead and train. So I have a hand size of four. And even though I have three cards in hand, I get to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. And then I just have to discard back down to four. So ambitious would increase my hand size. I'm not really worried about that right now. Once per turn, you may draw one skill. Not worried about that. Puppet master, whenever a round of combat begins before tokens are cast, you may exert to remove one of your foe's tokens. That one's not bad, but it's very expensive. And then once per turn, you may exert to follow the instructions on one of your quests, even if you are not in the required hex. So yeah, literally none of these are really that great. Um, let's see here. Battles testing that. So anything that could increase that skill, but that's not helping me here. So yeah, I guess we'll keep Puppet Master. You never know. Um, something might come up that's worth it. So. All right, so that was one action. <clears throat> I guess as the second action here, hmm, I guess I should try and move. Okay, so I was easily able to move into here. That's gonna take two damage, and then I'll take my third action to get rid of this guy. Again, gaining one more coin, and I'm up to four damage now. Okay, so I can take two more from that guy than I need to heal. Okay, so that was my three actions. Next round, nothing happens. I will spend my first action to move up here, take two damage. Second action to remove this guy. So we're up to six damage now again. I've got lots of money now, but nothing I really want to spend it on. Um, so, okay, so that was two, and then I guess for the third, hmm, let's just go ahead and we'll put ourselves in position here. All right, so move this down, new story event, undead assault, place one zombie in each stronghold, son of a biscuit, uh, heroes cannot trade goods and strongholds with zombies. Oh, I forgot to roll out my terrain die each time I have defeated. So I owe this thing three rolls. One, two, three. Okay. So yeah, there was a guy there, a guy there, a guy there. Because this was only in the towns. Did I do it over here? Okay. All right, I'm safe. Forgot I should have been rolling this. Okay, but we need to now put a zombie in every stronghold. So they're just like multiplying. All right, boom. Boom, that one's not close either. Oh, that one's gonna be a pain. Nope, that's not a stronghold. Okay, so suddenly this one way up here by itself doesn't seem that important anymore. Fortunately, the strongholds, none of them are near the roads. So this is one of the areas that I feel like it becomes a lot more difficult when you are playing pure solo. Because obviously, if there was two of us on the board, we could spread out all these tokens together. And there's nothing on the card that says if you're playing solo, you know, only put out one token. So um, yeah. I am kind of in trouble here. One thing I realized is that I need to trade out my token. I need to get my rogues gear. Let's swap it for my chainmail. 
All right, there's my rogue's gear. Put back the chainmail. Okay, so maybe I should look into upgrading my alchemist belt here. Hmm. But nothing really looks any good. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe we need to go after Puppet Master to remove one of his, remove one of your foe's tokens. Okay, so lots of zombies on the board now. Let's go ahead and spend two to take care of this guy. Get us a trophy here. Okay, oh, it's not gonna give me a trophy. Explore the Hunter's Circle, which is again, okay, right here. Um, draw one card, switch one of your learned skills with a skill from your hand. Now, this could be helpful because this is very expensive. I could do channel pretty easily. Um, No, I'd need to do like interrogation or feral strength. Okay. But yeah, I do like this. Um, okay. So Hunter's Circle. Um, I am going to use one of these just for my reference here. i put that there. Okay. Okay. So I need to acquire a cheap skill in red or yellow. And I need to get some trophies first. That took two actions. So now I guess I need to travel. It's my only other option. Oh, that was not pretty. Okay. So I'm actually okay. I can get onto the road because I can spend this to get into there. I can I then spend have to spend a water to cross the river. So it's actually not a uh, fields I need right there. I need the water symbol to cross the river and then any symbol to get into the city. So we will get into Tamalir and that's our third action. Come down here, all we're gonna do is flip over that token and we get three more actions, but we're also now halfway through this round. So definitely need to um, take care of some stuff here. All right, I'm going to heal while I'm here, and then I'm gonna train, see if we can't get something really cheap. One, two, three, four. All right, just looking for pure cheapness. Here we go. Intimidating or taxidermy. Um, sure, doesn't matter. It's only costing me one. <clears throat> and I will get rid of channel. Okay, now I need a trophy. So, let's see if we can't go up here because that's a guaranteed trophy, is a battle. Okay, that is not what I was looking for. My pathfinding skill, though, however, will allow me to reroll these dice. Okay. Ugh. Um. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, this is gonna stink. Stink, stink, stink. Hmm. Okay, yep, we'll just move into there. Um, that was my second action, no, that was my third action. We come down here, we're running low on time here. Okay, um, all right. There's just not enough time in the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, he's gonna be at 17 hit points. Maybe I can hit some of these two on the way up. All right, all right, first action. Yep, nothing happens. First action is going to be to move over here and um, take on a battle. Okay, 
So reanimates warrior undead. Okay, these guys should be pretty easy. Okay. So here is our warrior card. And um, yeah, he now we are in act two. So he's gonna get an extra token against me. Okay, boom. Let's see here. Okay, I got me a shield, an ax, that's good. Another shield. There we go, okay. All right, um, let's see, how many surges do we have here? Right now we have two, we have three of these and a doubler. Okay, so this enemy has minus one initiative. All right, he's got one, I've got two, so I'm beating him anyways. All right, um, let's see here. Once per combat round as a combat action, you may exert and test uh, spirit, which is for me a two to deal two damage. So I just need one success on drawing two cards. Do I want to go ahead and do that first? Or do I spend a token to try and recast this one? That would give me one, two, three, four hit points. Yeah, let's try the combat action. I'll exert. So I can't get rid of those two. I can exert here and test two. So there, that's all I needed. I'll go ahead and pull the other one. Um, so I will do two points of unblockable damage. Very nice. Okay, that was my first combat action. Now he's going to go and he will double this. Um, and so this is now a threesome pack. Okay, which means he's gonna deal three damage. All right, so it's back to me now, and I don't even need to waste any time because I will simply spend my axes to take him out. So, perfect, just what I needed. Okay, all right, so this is gonna give me an extra money, but more importantly, it's gonna give me the trophy I need to learn Intimidate. All right, so let's take this off of there. That was my first action. I can now, it doesn't cost an action to learn a skill. So I'll turn in my trophy to learn Intimidate. And now I need to come down here. So as my third action, I will attempt to move down there. Okay. Um, oh. I need two. Wait, I think I can make this work. If I spend this to go here, whoops, and this to go here, and then this to cross the river. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So we are there now. Um, okay. All right. I'm gonna need to get a water in a wild though. So this may take a little bit, but that was my third action. Let's move this down and draw a story card. Place one zombie in each city. Son of a gun. This is never ending. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now he's up to like 21 points. Okay, so here, uh, favor of Kurnos. Now I can explore multiple times. Um, so if I don't get my result I want, which is gonna be a water and a wild, we'll just keep doing it until we absolutely have to run up there and take him on. So let's try first. Nope. Is attempt number two. Okay, so there we go. Two wilds will work. Um, 
All right, so I now get to switch a learned skill with a skill from my hand. So I will chuck Intimidating and I will learn Puppet Master, which was an excellent swap. Okay, now I feel like, and that was my second action. I'm done with this now. I'm done with that. Um, yeah, let's just try and take out as many uh, zombies as possible here. Questions, I've got one, two, three, four turns. So say it takes me one turn to get here, two, three, four, can I risk it? Or one, two, three. Okay, uh, let's see what my movement dice here would entail, because one, two, one, two, three, I wouldn't be able to get to this one till my this turn. Then one, two, three, best case scenario. One, two, get rid of this one. Then we move down to here. Yeah, say I move here. And then I could get into here, take it and get up to here. And then we'd be here. So come up here, move here and then move into there. We come down here, take care of it. Okay, I think I can do it. Let's just see what my movement die entail right now. All right, so I could use this to go one, two, and then cross the river three. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so that was my third action. This moves down, nothing happens. I'll spend one action to come into here. Ooh, but I'm gonna be taking damage while I do this. All right, I took two damage. Then I'll spend an action to get rid of it. Okay, is there anything in Dawn's more I could purchase? No, nothing worth it. Okay, so then this is what I'm gonna do as my third action. I'm going to travel all the way over here. Take two more damage. Okay, moved in, did it, moved, took damage. Okay, this moves down. Now, action number one, get rid of this zombie. I don't even know why I'm collecting up money anymore. I don't think it gets me anything. Uh, is there anything in River Watch I wanna buy? No. Okay, so that was my first action. Then my second action will become all the way up to here to Tamalier, take two damage. So I'm up to six. That was two. And action number three will be to take out this zombie. Okay. This moves down, story event card. I swear if it fills up zombies, in turn order each hero must discard one companion unless he or she spends three money. Well, that's easy, I got money for days. I'm not giving up my companion at this point. Okay, so now, let's see here. I don't think there's really much else I can do. There's nothing in Tamalier that is worth it for me to buy. So I will heal as my first action. I will train as my second action. So one, two, three, Four, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just want to have a full hand of cards so I can exert. And then my third action will be to move. Okay, so. Hmm. I can only go one, two, but that's fine. I know I can make it there. Okay, so final round. Technically we flip that over and that's it. Um, my first action will be to enter his space. Well, let's just reroll. Okay. Well, we missed getting there that time, but that's fine. Second action will be to enter his space. Third action will be to take him on. So. We get to flip this card over. 
and it says Volkoresh has plus one health for each zombie. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but he has minus two for each companion his foe has. And I forgot now that I could have purchased, spent a trophy, and where was that one? The Forge? Yeah, when I was down in Dawnsmore, I could have spent an action to buy another one, but that's fine. Um, it actually took me everything I had to get up here. So, uh, he's down to 16. His health is 16, so this is what I'm gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, and one. I'll actually put 16 on him, and he will have to, um, we'll just take him off. All right, so he is a mystic villain humanoid, and I believe, yep, so that makes him a mystic. All right, he gets a unique token, okay, here, which I'm wondering if, hmm, does that replace the one extra token? Or does he get seven tokens? Hold on. Um, adventure cards, combat, defeat, passing enemy cards, rounds of combat, flipping tokens, victory conditions. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, one second, let me figure this out. Okay, so villains get seven tokens. All right, but let's see here. I get to do some stuff here first. My short bow says whenever you engage a foe, deal one damage. I'm only gonna engage him once, but that's fine. He's down to 15. Now, whenever a round of combat begins before tokens are cast, you may exert to remove one of your foe's tokens. So, let's see here, his... Um, let's see, what do I want? Probably this one? Although his thing is definitely doubling up the surges. So maybe take away his unique one which is a double surge and a, yeah. All right, so we will exert, lose a skill card. He loses a token, okay. And that's it. Okay, where's my bag? Lots of tokens in the bag now. Oh boy, they spilled out all over the place. Okay, um, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine, this is his, this is his. There's one for him. There's another skull for him. Oh, this one's mine, and this one's mine. Okay. Yeah, oh, no, here's one of his. One, two, three, four, five. He's missing one. Six. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Two. One, two, three, four, five skulls. Okay, one surge. It's not bad. Okay. Um, he didn't get any initiative. So I win the initiative. Oh boy, I've got three shields, which kind of takes away from all of my attack, but I think I'm gonna need them. So we'll keep those stacked up right there. Um, recast one of your spent tokens. So maybe we'll do that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna spend this to try and recast this one.
Okay. All right, he is going to double his surge first. Okay, then it's back to me. I'm going to spend this to recast uh, or flip this one. So this one's been spent. Okay, he's gonna double surge now on me. Um, curse, flip all of your foe's tokens. Oh, that's a freaking pain. Okay, so he's gonna curse me. Flips all of my tokens. Okay. All right. Um, all right, so I'm going to spend one surge on my rogues gear, which is gonna allow me to dodge, cancel the next attack made against you this combat round. So his obvious next attack is this one. So I dodge that. All right, now it's just on me. So um, let's do our test of two here. We can do this once per combat round. Uh, so no successes there. All right, then it's me again. So I want to spend this to recast this. Nope. Um, Again, I could literally just sit here and keep saying I want to keep flipping this. I'm not sure if they really thought about that. Um, okay, so I'll hit him for three. And I didn't even need my shield. So that comes off. Okay. All right, so maybe this time we take away, I'm gonna take away this one from him. I need to exert to do that. Ooh, and I had to exert to do battle sorcery. So I've only got one more exert left. Or okay, I still got eight health. He's got 12. All right. Boom, 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 boom. He's got a shield, he's got a blank. He's got two skulls and three surges. Okay. All right, so I definitely have initiative here. Yep. Okay. All right, so what do we want to do first? Um, I think we'll just go ahead and smack him before he flips my tokens. So I'll hit him for three again. Then he's going to come down here, and he, he doesn't have anything that's going to do th three. So let's do, he'll do, he'll spend the two. He's going to flip all my tokens. Okay. Um, then it's to me. Let's do our exert and test. There's our success we needed. So he takes two damage, undefendable. Oh, he would have defended early on my initial attack, so I actually owe him a health back. All right. Uh, then it's back to him. He's gonna take this one surge and let's do raise the dead. Randomly select a discarded enemy, trigger any surge ability on it. Now see, that's just too much. See this again, maybe Volkeresh isn't a very good one even in the Unbreakable Bond scenario. So we're just gonna do deal one damage, heal one damage. So he's going to go back up to nine and he's going to deal one damage to me, which I don't have any more shields. Okay, so that was this one. All right, um, let's see, what do we want to do here? Uh, I'm gonna spend this to flip this over to a shield. Okay, then it says turn, he's gonna hit me for two. I'll spend my shield to reduce that to one and I will hit him for one. All right, go again. 
same tokens. All right, um, this can, we're done with you. Lots, all right, he's got one initiative, but there I've got two. He's got two, okay, so I won initiative again. And he just has a ton of skulls. One, two, three, four, five skulls is all he's going to be doing. So I think I'm gonna keep my two things. Um, and no longer, oop, no, I didn't have the ability to exert anymore, so he should have gotten this one too. Oh my goodness. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, okay. I feel like I need to, nope, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend this to dodge, cancel the next attack made against you this combat round. He's got nothing else but to swing this at me. And so we're good. So then I will simply spend these two to hit him for three. And we're gonna go into another round. I like that dodge card. Okay, so he gets all of his tokens now. I can't do any battle sorcery or puppet mastery. Okay. So, hmm, what has he got? One, two, three, he's got, okay, so he's actually taking initiative on me. He's got two and I only have one. He's got a doubler, one there. Man, this guy is piling it on. Okay, two, 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 two. All right, this could hurt. Okay, but I've got a surge. Okay, so, his action is going to be double his highest thing. So this becomes a four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could kill me in one foul swoop, but I'm gonna play my rogue's gear to cancel this attack out. Boom, putting all your eggs in one basket there, guy. Then I will spend this to flip this over. Doesn't matter really. And yeah, I will hit him for three again, and that's gonna be the end of that round. So we're pretty close here. I can see the end in sight as long as I can get a surge symbol. I think I can survive. So let's see what we do here. Boom, boom. Okay, there's my one surge. That's what I really needed. Boom, boom. Although he could get to me first, boom, boom, and he's got that. So I've got two, he's got no initiative. All right, so I need to hit him for three, essentially. Um, so yeah, this is what, I'm gonna spend this to flip this one over. He's gonna double his surge first. So he'll double this one, he essentially has two twos. But then I'm gonna hit him for four and take him up. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I was victorious. Um, again, this is not the way the game is truly supposed to be played. Um, it is supposed to be a semi-competitive game where the other players who wouldn't want to see me win at this point even though we probably would have been working together but if i was the first one to make it to vorakesh they would have been um you know doing their best to counteract me but uh it works and you know it's a cute little game i do like the token combat system just be simply because it's different um, than so many other things out there and with the ability to flip them and things like that and these boards make the AI very straightforward uh, just follow the boards and don't overthink it so um, if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up 
if you feel like there are ways or rules that could be implemented to improve this solo experience, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and if you'd like to be involved in more videos like this, I cover a lot of videos where I implement a kind of DIY solo solution or something that I found off of Board Game Geek. Um, two games that are fun to play, but aren't necessarily made for one player. So. Um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and join me in those conversations. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great night.